welcome friends to another video on my youtube channel in this video i will show you how you can create a telegram chatbot and handle the chatbot using node.js backend so let's get started the first thing that you need to have is an active telegram account once you have that you can open the telegram on web portal or on your phone and search for boat father this is a mechanism provided by telegram to create chatbots once you find the boat father and make sure you use the one which has this right tick click on that and once you click on that you will see a start button you can click on that so there are many things you can achieve with this boat father here there are some shortcuts which you can have uh, one is new boat so click on the new boat it say all right a new boat how are we going to call it please choose a name for your boat so this will be the name of your boat i'll say youtube demo once you provide the name it will ask a name or you can say a user name for your boat which must end with underscore and boat so let's say youtube sorry it's a youtube demo underscore port okay hit enter so it has created a chatbot now you can obviously connect with the chatbot with the link this is the most important thing this is the api key using this api key you can handle the chatbot with node.js backend so now let's go and develop the node.js backend for node.js backend we need a telegram api package if you search for a telegram api package or npm telegram you will find many packages but i think this is the most accurate and official telegram api package for node so we will going to install this and we will going to use this and we will going to develop a chatbot using this package so what i will do i'll open terminal and i'll open the folder where i want to uh, write the code in visual studio code so let's get started with this uh, okay it got updated no problem i'll open the terminal and i'll first write npm in it so it's okay for the package name version description this is a project for my youtube channel entry point author raj kapadia okay so it has created the package dot json file now what we will do we will copy this okay let me just copy this only here i'll write npm install i will provide the save flag now i'll create a new folder call src and under src i will create index.js if you want to deploy this on a server make sure to use 
start script and under start I will write node src index.js so that means when the server run a command npm start it will run the index.js file so now let's get back to the node.js package and you can see uh, how you call the package and how you use the package so let's start using the package let's say first create a telegram boot by requiring the telegram package okay next it says your token so let's go to telegram and copy the token one more thing here is that if you want to deploy this backend on a on let's say Heroku and you want to use environments variable then what you can do is that let me do it as well npm dot env sorry npm install dot env that's that save okay it will now what we can do is uh, require dot sorry dot env dot config now what you can do is you can cut this thing you can use a variable token equals to our token save this file and here we can use process dot env dot token okay now let's get back to the package and see what we can do so we have done this now we can create a boat using the constructor let's say const boat is equal to telegram we'll use a new keyword then telegram boat and token equals to token and then pulling equals to true now our boat is created let's say there are many things now that we can do with this first we'll say on now this on method has many many parameters so it says on connection okay let me show you more clear documentation so if you go to telegram and under the section api you will find all the uh, reference of telegram api here okay and oh this this was the, this this is the actual link okay i'm not sure where is the okay this is the detailed description of the api okay uh, so if you go to available methods there are send message send video send animation there are many things as i said you can do with telegram boat so uh, let's first follow this on when you receive a message let's uh, follow that first message when you receive a message you will receive a message parameter i'll use the arrow function 
and let's first just print the message itself let's save this uh, what we can do is that node mon src index okay so the boat is running let me go to my telegram and let me call this and when i say start we will receive a message here okay so under the message body you see that message id and from chat id and everything uh, we need this text so it's uh, under message dot text so let me print that as well message dot text and also let me console log the sender's id so it's a message from id so message dot from dot id okay let me print this two thing first let me say hello so you can see we got both the things now you can use anything here any middle uh, sorry middleware um, chatbot infrastructure for example let's say uh, dialog flow here you get the text from the user with the help of that text detect the intent of that text generate a response and send it back to the user with the method uh, bot dot send message okay this send message requires chat id and text you want to send so let's say that will be let me call this to a variable let chat underscore id equals to this and then at this point we don't need this so i'll say chat id and then my message hello from node js okay let me save this now when i say hello we will receive a message back hello from node js now as i said there are many things that you can achieve with this uh, the only limitation is your imagination i hope you have gained some knowledge from this video and see you in the next video till then thanks for watching and peace